So the Russians defined adaptogens. They increase attention and endurance, especially in fatigue. So they're very good for fatigue symptoms. And they prevent stress-related impairments, and they very much affect the hypothalamic pituitary axis, short-term and long-term. And the Russians were especially interested in them for space travel, for their Olympic athletes and for military applications, and to protect people from radiation exposure, which is an extreme stress on our system. Okay, so things they affect. They lower cortisol production in the face of stress. They reduce nitric oxide to good levels. You can have too much and too little nitric oxide. And so the adaptogens keep it within a good balance. Actually, ginkgo has an effect too. So ginkgo and rhodiola can be very good for high altitude stress. Any of you do high altitude skiing or climbing? Okay, so rhodiola, ginkgo, and maca are valuable. Okay. They also affect certain stress-activated proteins, and they activate the expression of heat shock protein 70, which prolongs life. So in several different animal species, rhodiola prolongs life because of apparently how it's affecting these proteins. Now, one dose of rhodiola, and, in this, and this is a review, Panosian and Wagner, are Swedish scientists who've done some of this research. Some of it's secret, done in collaboration with the Russians in, in space, but some is in the public domain. Uh, I have a lot of the secret stuff translated, actually. But uh, it stimulates your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system so they function much better. So that your stress response or sympathetic system doesn't easily turn on in response to stress. And if it does, it has better reserves and it turns off more quickly.